Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Um, so today I have a first impressions. Um, I had spotted this little kit here, which is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Genius Kit um, on TV. And of course, with eyes being probably, well, they would definitely make up the biggest part of my makeup collection with shadows and brow kits and mascaras and all that there. I was really intrigued to give this a go and try it out, so I thought I would do a first impressions. I've only bought it yesterday, um, but like I said, I got it in bits, um, and it was $9.99, um, and it was actually surprisingly hard to find out. I had went into a couple of the stores, and they were sold out, uh, but I managed to get my hands on this one here, which was actually the last one. There was three shades. Um, this one here is the medium to dark and um, I picked this here because sometimes I sort of find that the medium of things can be a wee bit sort of too red. So this here looked nice and rich and brown so I thought that um, this would suit my colouring best. So um, in terms of what I've used to compare this to, um, one of my favourite brow kits which is very inexpensive is the Barry M. And I think it's probably about sort of five or six pounds. Um, it's fantastic. And uh, I don't have it close by and I would show you, but basically it is a um, just like a little sort of cardboard um, box and it has a mirror in it and it has a wax, it has a powder and it also has a sort of skin tone highlighter. The only problem with it is that it's only available in the one colour or anywhere I've seen it anyway, it's only available in the one colour. Um, whereas this kit here, like I say, it had light, medium and then um, medium to dark. So um, there is a good wee range there of colours. Um, peeking inside it, obviously apart from the outside, it's a really, really nice packaging. Kind of like a brushed sort of steel kind of look about it. Um, inside then you have your little mirror. And then you have like a little instruction sheet on how to use it. And then you have your sort of waxy side and your shadow. And as well as that there, you also get two little uh, implements with it. One is a little pair of tweezers, mini tiny little tweezers. And another is a tiny little brush and uh, spooling which is really really small of course I mean it'll be handy for obviously you know if you're going away anywhere and you don't want to take a whole array of brushes and tweezers and stuff like that there but personally I just sort of think that these here would be just a little bit too tiny for me um, so I'm not going to attempt the tweezers but what I will do obviously with it being a first impressions is I will give the tiny little sort of spilly thing a go so reading on the instructions here, it says, uh, number one, dip in the angle brush into the wax, create the desired shape. Step two, use same brush to apply powder and enhance brow line. And step three, use spoolie brush to brush through and style the brows. So here we go. says then just with the same brush um, to go ahead and put the powder on. Oh, 
Okay, so that's one side with this little brush. I'm now going to do this side with my Real Techniques brush to sort of, to see if I can get a much better application and the wee tiny brush. guys so that's pretty much me done like I say I done this side here with the real techniques and this side here with the little brush and spoolie that is enclosed and it's no surprise anyway that this side here went on a whole lot better than this side um, you can obviously get just a lot more um, you can sort of just get your cut your your brows carved out um, just nice and neatly it's just it's just a lot more neater using the longer brush in that there. Um, whereas the little one that's included is just very fittery and small, but I never do find those things anyway quite useful. Having said that, it would be good for a night out or whatever. Um, at least you have a little brush there if you wanted to top up. Um, all in all, um, I really liked the, uh, I really like the finished look in that there. It is dark, but it's not too dark. It's obviously quite buildable. Um, in terms of what I have personally used, um, I think that in comparison to the like of the Barry M, which is probably the closest thing that I have actually tried to this little kit here, um, I would say that the Barry M wax would be just a wee bit softer. However, the powder in this here um goes on slightly better it's slightly more even and there's less fallout um so all in all you know to be honest with you if one was sold out and the other one was in stock i would pick up either of those two um barry m is a little bit more um a little bit more affordable at six pounds but i think for 9.99 this here um gives a really nice finished look it's very natural um, on the Boots website as well too, um, one thing I did notice is that, I think it was about 80 reviews on there and it was a full 5 stars um, overall, so it's clearly um, been well received. So I have to say, thumbs up for a first impression. I do like it, I think it's a really handy little kit. Um, lovely looking, really nice packaging and uh, would definitely fit into a handbag or purse for a night out so thumbs up so if you want one of your own um, you can toddle on down to bits it's 9 99 uh, don't forget to take your advantage card unlike myself yesterday but anyway thanks so much for watching guys if you have tried this here yourself do let me know I would um, love to hear your thoughts on it or if whatever your favorite brow product is um, again just let me know because I'm always on the lookout for new products so anyway, have a wonderful week ahead and I will speak to you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.